Hi, my name is Marcus. Hi, my name is Jackie. We will be looking at two pieces that we find most interesting. One is really controversial. The second one is very symbolic, based on the artist's feeling during a troublesome time. So, here we're looking at Frida Kahlo's Two Fridas. Uh, what is the symbolism of this piece? Well, basically the symbolism of this piece is Frida's feelings displayed to the public during her time of her divorce. Um, it's during this time that, that... That was from Diego, right? Yes, from Diego. Um, it was a year, give or take, during this time that she started painting a lot of angry portraits, in a sense. Um, a lot of them were basically her defying her separation or her longing from Diego. Um, the two Fridas, in a sense, is the two different parts of her, like the before and after, okay. almost. Um, the first Frida, the one that's Hispanic, more more sense. Or, so the, the one in the blue, right? Yeah, the one in the blue, the one that's more rooted in the Mexican culture. Um, that Frida is the, you could sort of say, the before the divorce. Um, she was the one that Diego loved, or so she believed. <clears throat> She was the one that held Diego's heart. She was happy. She was more her, in a sense. And then the second Frida, the one in the white, the one that looks European, in a sense, almost, she's, this, she's the one that Diego rejected. She's the one that no longer is loved by Diego. Therefore, mm-hmm. she's half of what the other one would be. Also, what is really interesting about this portrait is that she in her hand, um, the one that you say, the one that Diego loved the most, the one in blue, she holds a portrait of Diego when he was younger. And through that portrait, um, there's this vein that runs through both of their hearts and around to the other Frida, the one that's not loved. That's, that's what that red cord is, right? Yes. That's the one that basically is the connection, you could sort of say, between the two Fridas. There was a quote that, was, uh, that I found about mainly that connection that she had. She says that in, a, in her journal that she had, she makes a quote um, that says, my blood is the miracle that travels in the veins of the air from my heart to yours. And in a sense, that's what she's trying to stop. The second Frida is. She's trying to clamp that vein, that, that circulation, that blood, or you could sort of say that hurt from you know being left from Diego. And in a sense, it's still bleeding. It's like an almost like an open wound still. And that's what drips and falls on her dress, also almost melting into the actual dress itself, if you look at it. Yeah, because it, it looks stained there. Yeah, for the most part, the stains actually become the flowers, in a way. She's almost embodying it, like acknowledging the fact that she can't stop it from... You know, she can't stop loving him still, but at least she's trying to hurt a little less. So in a sense, it's almost like this portrait is, like, sad in a sense, but also she's trying to acknowledge her hurt towards him. But she's angry, I think, in a way. The way that she defies the viewer and the way that she upholds herself, even though she's hurting. Mm, That's very interesting. So let's change gears. Our next piece is highly controversial. So, Marcus, tell us, why is it so controversial? This piece is Caballero's Sweet Chocolate Jesus and is controversial not really because it is made out of chocolate, but because he is, uh, the Jesus figure is full nude, and Caballero wanted to show this piece on Easter. So why chocolate? Well, he chose chocolate because uh, Caballero says that Jesus always said, my body is the bread of life, take and eat. And Caviero wanted to give people a chance to taste Jesus, but as chocolate. This Jesus sculpture is 485,460 calories, by the way. So how was it received by the public? Well, Caviero got a bunch of hateful emails by the Catholic Church saying this is insensitive to our religious views and you shouldn't show this full nude in public and this is disgraceful to our religion. But why would it be disgraceful if you're representing Christ? Well, besides Mary, uh, Christ is who the Catholic Church worships 
and highly respects him, so showing him with his genitals exposed in the cross position, they find very disgraceful and disrespectful toward him. But don't you think the artist was trying to show him in reality how it actually was, rather than a fictional perspective of Christ? I think so, yes, because if you if you look in the Bible, it says that the Romans took off all his clothes and played dice on them. That's interesting, Marcus. What I also found thought-provoking was the connection between these two pieces, and that is the sense of identity. Frida and her identification with her turmoil. And people's identification with Christ in religion. Hmm, that is interesting.